we have seen uh, in US Americans have voted uh, Donald Trump back to power. Are you expecting any kind of policy, policy shift uh, uh, related to Israel? Uh, and uh, and because uh, the Israel PM also talk, uh, referred to it as a greatest political comeback, mm. how do you see all these developments? Well, it is uh, actually a, a quite a, a significant uh, political, you know, uh, development in the United States. We are, we know the, the, the we knew the Trump presidency very well. We, we, we know how it works. Uh, we are looking forward to engaging with them. I think that during the first Trump administration, a lot of achievements were, uh, were achieved in the, in the Middle East, especially the Abraham Accords. We are looking forward for the expansion of that. Uh, first of all, we have to concentrate in, uh, you know, finishing the war, finishing the job, uh, uh, neutralizing the threats that we have uh, for creating the stability and prosperity that we all want. And uh, I'm sure that uh, India uh, is going to be an essential part of it because it has a lot of things to offer to countries in our region. Sir, Hamas has also reacted to the Trump's uh, victory. They, has, they, have, uh, they have called for U.S. ending uh, support to Israel, blind support to Israel. How do you see uh, their reaction to it? I don't uh, I don't think it's uh, important. I think that uh, what we should concentrate right now is in uh, making sure that Gaza will no longer be held hostage by Hamas, especially not the Palestinian population. They deserve a much more moderate and mature leadership that will engage with us in creating the stability that we need in our region, in negotiating peace, in giving the Palestinians a real chance to rule themselves with uh, a government that will actually seek uh, seek cooperation and not the destruction of our country. So what are your expectations from India uh, uh, when it comes to conflict in Russia? Well, uh, we are continuing our dialogue with uh, the Indian government. I think that uh, we are all waiting to a situation in which we can re-engage in projects of connectivity uh, between uh, Asia and Europe uh, in working together with governments in the region to lay the foundations for um, you know, the, the, the logistic and economic uh, um, infrastructure that we need in order to uh, do more trade, cooperate more in technology, and advance solutions that uh, solve day-to-day -day issues for normal people in, in the world. Well, in this boot camp, we have concentrated in um, introducing AI tools in different fields like uh, health, uh, education, uh, and environment uh, to local startups that uh, are, you know, trying to conquer markets in the world. Um, uh, this is a very important tool um, to introduce, you know, uh, utilization of uh, new technologies like AI, and it's part of the general effort we are, we are making here in India to, to bring uh, India and Israel to work together on advanced technologies. Um, there are huge, uh, there is a huge interest in Israel in the Indian market for several reasons. First of all, because India is a very vibrant market and a very young market. Second, because uh, India offers things that other markets do not uh, offer, such as uh, a local domestic market that is very big, um, and also uh, the capability to together access third markets, especially in the United States and Europe. Uh, so many Israeli companies are trying to uh, both uh, cooperate in order to develop together uh, technologies, also to commercialize technologies, to make production here in India, uh, and to market. Uh, and this is uh, a very important effort for us as we try to grow our uh, technological exports and technological prowess around the world. <laughs>